guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alex. Today I wanted to create a soft take on a silver smoky eye. I used a few different green tones, a few different pink tones, so it all sort of evens out. It's super soft, it's super diffused and feminine, and it's so perfect for those winter nights. It sort of has that winter wonderland thing going on. I finished it with a soft pink lip, but this could be traded out for a nude lip, it could be traded out for a red lip, really whatever you want. If you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. So I'm going to prep my eyelids with my NARS Sheer Matte in Light 5. Just putting this onto my Beauty Blender and putting this right onto my eyelids. Okay, now I'm going to set what I just put on my eyelids using this color in my Huda Beauty palette. This is the Desert Dust palette and this is called Desert Sand. Just going in on a clean blending brush and I'm putting that right onto my eyelid. As you can see, I've already filled in my brows off camera. Um, if you want to see a more in-depth brow tutorial, please let me know. But I did a full brow routine in my last Get Ready With Me video. So please go check that out after if you'd like to see how I do my brows. So to start this eye look, I'm going into a Morphe brush. This is an M441 brush. So this is my favorite blending brush. And I'm going into the color Eden right here pinky, like peachy color. I'm going to put this right as my transition shade in my crease and blend this out. I'm going to go in and create a cut crease after with concealer before I go into any of the silvers. So I will clean this all up later. So you don't need to be too precise. You just want to keep it sort of in your crease. Have it nice and blended. Got a nice new pink background. It's unironed. I apologize. Don't touch me. So now I'm taking a pointier brush. This I bought in a Morphe kit, and I actually don't see the name of it anywhere. But I'm going into this color right here called Amber, and I'm putting this right into my crease. Looks kind of funny right now, but I'm going to blend it all out, obviously. And now to blend that even further, I'm going back into the first brush I used and just blending. I'm going into the color Saffron right here. I'm just going to put it on the same brush and just deepen the crease even more. There's very little product on my brush and I'm very lightly putting this into my crease. Okay, so I'm going back into my first blending brush and I am just blending this all out. So now I'm going into this color right here, it is called Ode. Ode? I don't even know what that's called. I'm just packing that right onto the outer corner of my eye, keeping it all below the crease. And this is going to add some nice depth. It's a really beautiful plum brown color. I'm really liking all the colors in this palette. So now I'm just working with what's ever left on my brush and working that into the crease. Okay, so now that I've done my crease and my outer corner, I'm going to go in with the concealer and clean up my inner lid. I'm going in with my Becca concealer. This is the 
Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer in shade Fair. I'm just going to put a little on the back of my hand and take my concealer brush. And I'm going to start placing the most product right towards the, the base of my lashes so that when I get to my crease, I have less product on the brush and it's easier to control where I'm putting it. Some people call this a cut crease. I'm not going to make it look like a harsh cut crease when I'm done, so it won't really be a cut crease, but for the sake of putting the next step of shadows on, this makes the most sense. And I'm just tapping in wherever I want to blend the concealer with the outer corner shadow. Looks pretty good. It doesn't need to be perfect because I'm going to go in with shadows on top onto my favorite palette in the whole wide world. This is the Natasha Denona blue and brown, or green and brown. Like, look at these colors. How crazy is this palette? I'm going to take a precise little brush. This is Real Techniques and this is the Detailer Brush. I'm going to give this a quick spray, just of my Urban Decay setting powder. You can use a MAC Fix Plus, I just don't have mine sitting here, unfortunately. I'm going to go into, I want this look to be like a greeny silver color. I'm going to go into this color right here. So I'm just packing this right on top of where I put the concealer, keeping it underneath my crease. I find sometimes that you have to like keep adding so that you have the right amount of sparkle on your lid. And don't mind any of the fallout because we will clean that all up with a wipe later. Okay, so now that that is on my lid, I'm going to go into a darker green. I'm going to go into this green right here. I'm going to take my Kat Von D shade and light brush and I'm going to go onto the fluffier end with that color. I'm going to pack that kind of right on top slash in between of the dark plum color, and then the lighter green that I currently have on my lid. And it, it goes on top of the plum color, that's okay. I put it there just to create some depth. I want this look to be really soft and fanned out. So I'm gonna go back into this brush and I'm just going to fan out the crease, make sure that it is all nice and blended. I think to make it pop even more, I'm going to go into this bright silver color right here, get onto my finger. And I'm just going to put this right on the center of my lid. And like you can already see how much this makes it pop. So I'm just going to take a wipe and clean away any fallout from the shadows. Just lightly making a clean wind from the outer edge of my eye towards the edge of my brow. I'm going to go back in once my foundation is done and diffuse that out so it's not like such a harsh clean line because I really want it to be feminine and soft and all diffused. I'm going to go pop on some lashes and I will be right back. 
So my lashes are on. I'm just going to put a quick coat of my Fave L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara to blend the root of my lashes and the falsies together. I love the Cocoa Lashes and these are Misha. So to prep my face, I'm going into this purple Becca Instant Complexion Refresh, which I made because before I started filming, which obviously wasn't the best idea, I decided to go in and pick at my face. As you can see, all my red spots. So this just sort of helps like refresh your face. I don't know what the purple does, it just somehow gives you such a nice glow and sort of just wakes you up a little bit, which everyone can use. So for a concealer, I'm gonna go back into my NARS. I'm gonna go for more of a matte look today instead of a dewy look. So taking it onto the back of my damp beauty blender, I'm just going to start blending the product into my face. <laughs> So going back into my Becca concealer, I am going to conceal all my dark circles because let me tell you, I have a lot of those right now. I'm putting that under my eyes, on my forehead, down the center of my nose, Cupid's bow, and on my chin. I really like this concealer. It's pretty lightweight, but it is super full coverage. I actually don't think there's really a Becca product I don't like. So I'm gonna blend in my nose the last because I want that line to sort of set a little before I blend it in because I want to do a nice contour on my nose. So I'm just lightly tapping that in with my beauty blender, like super lightly. So to contour my face, I'm going in with my Soleil Tan de Chanel. I'm going to take a liquid foundation brush. This is by Morphe. Put a little bit of product onto the brush. And starting from my ear, in my hollow of my cheek, I'm just working the product in. It really has, it really has such a natural finish to it when it's all blended in. Such a good product and it really just, there's no such thing as too much. I want this to warm on my cheeks a bit too. So once I'm done applying the product, I'm going to go back into my damp beauty blender and blend it all out. Now the perimeters of my face, just to warm up my face. With what's ever left over, I'm just going to do my jawline. The flat top brush. This is also by Morphe from that same collection of brushes that I got. I'm just going to lightly contour at the sides of my nose, starting from my brow, working my way down. This all, I'm going to go into my derma blend powder this is the loose setting powder i love this powder i just like to put a little into the cap and take my damp beauty blender just putting this anywhere i want to set so under my eyes definitely this will help it not crease throughout the evening on my chin forehead. Because of the damp beauty blender, it like really just melts the powder into your skin. 
And I'm just going to do a nice line down the center of my nose. And I'm going to put a little extra. And I'm going to let this bake. So I'm going to go into my KKW in medium. This is the powder and I'm going to mix these two shades together for my contour. I'm going to take this onto a contour brush. This is, I don't actually know, I think it's Real Techniques, but it, the label is washed off. This powder is so pigmented, so make sure you tap it off. So very lightly after tapping it off, I'm just blending that into the hollow of my cheek. I'm just going to lightly do the perimeters of my face. I'm basically going over wherever I put the Chanel product. The tip of my nose. And then back onto this brush with the powder. I'm just going into the lighter shade of the contour colors. And I'm just very lightly going over where I put that cream contour. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to take a clean brush and I'm just going to wipe away the powder down the center of my nose. So to highlight my face, I'm going to use my Cover FX Drops. This is in shade Moonlight. So just putting this on the high point of my cheek, just right above where that contour is, and I am blending that in. The temples, and I have such little product on my finger, I can kind of blend this out with my finger. I'm blending these little dots out. I don't know why, I just like love this inner brow highlight. In the tip of my nose, in the middle of my nose, and just lightly down the center. I'm taking my beauty blender and I am dabbing this all out. A little on my cupid's bow, a little on my chin. I'm going to add a little blush. I'm going to use my Tarte blush. This is in shade Parte. I'm going to take this on a Sephora Pro Precision blush brush. This is a nice matte pink tone for my face and it kind of has it. It's not too pink, which is nice. It sort of blends together with my crease color, which I really like. So I'm focusing most of the product on the apples of my cheeks. If you smile, it's right where the ball of your cheek is, and then with what's ever left on my brush, I'm just feathering it out towards my ear. I'm gonna go back into my Huda Beauty palette, right into the original crease color that I used, onto this powder and pout brush. This is P325. I'm going to take that shade and I'm just going to run it under my lash line. Like I said, I want this to be super soft and very diffused. So I'm going to do this in layers and steps and sort of make the shadows blend together nicely on the outer edge. Into the color Amber on the same brush. I'm just going to deepen that even more. Go back into your blending brush and make sure all of these are blended together. It can never be too blended, especially the bottom shadow. Go into the dark green that I used on my outer corner of my eyes. Opposite end of the Kat Von D brush, which is just like this nice pointy tip. 
and I'm just focusing this product right on the outer third of my eye. Just making sure those blend together. I'm doing a nice chunky coat because I have such dramatic falsies on my top lashes that I want my bottoms to match. Pinky shade right here. Going to another precision brush. This is a Sigma pencil brush in E30. I'm just going to do right under my brow, showing my inner corner. To finish this look, I'm going to line my lips. This is in color Electra. I want to do a very pinky girly color, so I'm going into this CoverGirl lipstick. This is called Honey Bloom. It's number 245. Such a pretty pink nude color. And I think it complements the green tones and the silver tones and just brings that whole feminine look together. To add a layer of gloss, I'm going to this Laura, Laura Mercier lip gloss. This is in color Azalea. It's just a really pretty light pink. I'm going to go into my Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Give it a good shake. And I'm going to spray. So this is the final look. I am super happy with how it turned out. It's sort of a soft take on a smoky eye and it's super diffused and feminine and pretty. I really like it. I hope you guys try out this look at home. Please let me know any videos you'd like to see next and I will be so happy to get those up for you as soon as I can. Please, please, please subscribe below and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Hi guys. My dog is ah! <laughs>